cow. Yo, Reactive, you finally hit 500 subs. Why in the hell have you done that? Seems you finally reached the 500 milestone. Not bad no, at all. Reactive, bro, you just hit Whoa. 500 subs. What the fuck are you gonna Guess do what, about reactive? it, bro? 500 My subs, guy, Reactive, you have Whoa. absolutely no. smashed it. No Representing way. Spiff Gang, you have reached 500, 500 subscribers. Reactive, Yo! you just hit 500 subscribers. We just hit 500 subscribers, bro. Are you serious? Yo, no, there's no way. There's no way, right? Oh my god, god. I gotta call my guy right up. I gotta call my guy right up. What the hell? Oh my. <laughs> Emily, bro. I just finally discovered. Fuck the YouTube, bro. All my life was like, but on my life, I just finally discovered, bro. Yo! <laughs> Yo, no way, dude. That's awesome. Can I come out of the basement now? Hell no, man! Hell no! It has been a long and difficult journey. The countless hours I have spent sat at my desk making content and the constant work to improve my content has finally paid off. Ever since the 31st of July 2022, I have been hard at work streaming long hours and consistently studying top tier creators to learn even the smallest of details that can lead to a great video. Slowly but surely, I continue to grow myself and my community once security be stream after another and i can't thank you guys enough you guys helped me to find who i really am and that is completely priceless because of you absolute legends i have achieved unimaginable goals ranging from meeting the one person that i have been looking up to for the past year <laughs> Becoming monetized on Twitch, cementing my name in history amongst the greats, and becoming a voice actor for an upcoming FNAF fan game, which unfortunately got cancelled due to some issues with the end of the game. But with that aside, I just want to personally thank I Don't Know Me either for being such a great developer who has helped me to grasp the fundamentals to what makes such a great speaker. Now, with my thank yous out the way, I wish to ask you guys a question. Question. Have you guys ever done a speedrun before? As according to speedrun.com, speedrunning has exploded in popularity in recent years. Along with this increase in popularity, many different players have cemented themselves at the top as the greatest of all time. And I was lucky enough to obtain an interview with one of these goats. That being the one, the only, the Louis Cooper. Welcome, guys, to the one and only the interview with Louis Kuplan. Hello, Louis. Do you have any words you would like to introduce yourself with? Yeah, I want to get it straight. You've been saying my name wrong this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, how, okay. How do you genuinely say it? Because apparently, I always say it wrong. Yeah, uh, you say Cope. 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 How do you say that? Yeah. Coop. Yeah, you say Coop, bro. What are you saying? <laughs> the Louis. All right, so it's the Louis Kuplan, right? Oh, <laughs> Copeland. Copeland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Louis Copeland. Okay, yes, there you go. Not a great start, but whatever. We'll we'll, we'll move through. Anyways, like this is way too early for this. Yeah, it's way <laughs> way too early. I got school like an hour, man. So my first question is, what is the day in the life as a Scooby Speedrun mod? Like, what what do you do in the community on a day to day basis? Hey, okay, so um, anyone doesn't know, I am the head moderator of the speedrun boards of Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Uh, also, Pizzeria Simulator. Yeah. Pizza Simulator as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The FNAF one, yeah. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> uh, and also a speedrunner. I've been in the community since 2021, the end of the year, like December. I was like, I was hired on as a verifier and um, very quickly became moderator because of like, they could see I was competent <laughs> and was learning and being like a good figure in the, um, the Discord and stuff. Um, and it was only recently that I was given the uh, head moderator status by the previous owner. And basically, I spend most of my time watching runs. So I'm always watching runs on the speedrun boards. I'm interacting with the community. I've had to sort out problems, like obviously 
delinquents and stuff. So I have to remain very professional in the server as well as when I'm reviewing people's runs. Because basically what we do is we have to retime it all. So we have to take pauses out, make sure they're not cheating and uh, making sure they're not using any hateful language because it is a game that 15 year olds would be playing and stuff. So we need to make sure we are by, by the Discord terms and conditions and the SRC terms and conditions. So I'm um, basically, me and the mods, we just, we have our weekly, monthly meetings about what needs to happen, what we're doing, and the type of runs and categories that we could potentially add, or if we need to work on others. Uh, and obviously we play the game, we play the game too much. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's great to hear that you're uh, really professional with this. It's great to hear that you take it seriously and you make making meetings to ensure that uh, this speedrunning community lasts, you know, that's awesome. It's super overwhelming though. Yeah, I, I, can, ima I can imagine, you know, when you uh, get like 50 uh, runs coming in, they're all like two hours, three hours. It's like, oh my God, you know. Uh, 150 in the queue at the moment. 100, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I also respect the discipline and determination. That is, that's something I strive for. All right, my next question is, what's your epic story in becoming a speedrun mod for so many different games like Security Breach and Stray? Like, which games have had the most crazy story in your opinion? Because it's, oh. it's already hard enough to speedrun one game. I, I actually moderate and uh, run a couple communities, even some Star Wars speedrunning communities as well. Yeah, I saw um, that. There's been lots of crazy stories. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you one that came from Stray. I'm not going to mention names because that's bang out of order. Yep, yep. But um, when I was hired on as a verifier, there was a lot of new runners coming in. The owner at the time, this was their first time running a board and we wasn't expecting this game to blow up and become super popular. We had like 500 members within like the first week. It was insane. I offered my services. I was like, yo, I actually run help run the FNAF security breach board like can I jump on on this and me and my good friend Pomelo and in like the roads you probably know in like the roads oh yeah I know I know we were hired on as moderators uh, within the first week and uh, since then we were getting verifiers as well there was someone on the team who didn't like me a lot <laughs> uh. because I was I was very um, I'm very blunt and I'm very like got to stick to the rules got to be fair with everyone and uh, they wanted to uh, create boards for people with different disabilities which was very strange. You don't really see this in speedrun, but it was their excuse was, oh, there's some people who have ADHD or anxiety. And I was like, okay, what? we can't separate, we can't like, segregate disabilities because yeah. they're finding it a bit harder than other people. And I was like, I've got a heart condition. I've got bad blood flow as well, which means I find it hard to spam buttons really quickly. I, I, I don't complain though. You know what I mean? Yeah. I will be like, okay, cool. And I ended up having the world record in the game at some point. Point. So there's no excuse, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you have like 50 world records or something. It's mad. Yeah, I've, I've lost count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember I was dreaming one time and you told me. And I, I was just scrolling through your profile. It was just like, world record, world record. I, I couldn't count them. It's too much. Yeah, you, I remember I remember the first time I came to your stream, you are like, nah, I'm better than <laughs> I was like, oh, really? Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> nah, because I, I was just in like, I remember specific, I was in backstage. And mm -hmm. I, I just saw you in my channel. I was like, yo, Louis, what's up, bro? And then, and then you speak about how you're like a modern. like, no way. And I, I don't believe you. I, I specifically remember... I, I asked you, did you speak to Spiff or something like that? And he said, yeah. And I was like, oh my God, like, someone speak to Spiff. I, I, I don't know. I went so crazy <laughs> with that. But all right, my next question is actually quite an interesting one. What led you to start content creation and speedrunning? Like, who inspired you and what are your goals in speedrunning and content creation? Hey, this is going to be a fun story because I've actually always, I, I've always been open about how I got into speedrunning. As a kid, we're talking like when I was like six, seven or eight, you know, that's when I started speedrunning. Yep. It was on a game called Star Wars Battlefront. 2004. Basically, I would get up really early to play this game because my dad would always be playing it to like fucking four in the morning. So I wouldn't have a chance to play it in the evening. So I used to add all the maps on instant action and try to beat them before I have to leave to go to school. And I used to do this every morning and I would always get better and better and better. I think I used to be able to do it in about an hour and 30 minutes. And I think now I've done it in like an hour and 15. So I've only saved 15 minutes in like, what is it? How many years? More than 10 years, 15 years. 14 years. So that's how I got into speedrun and then it just procedurally, or gradually I got into doing more and more games like Call of Duty. Uh, I did Lost Planet as of recent, but I enjoy doing blind runs where I go into a game with no knowledge whatsoever and try and beat it as fast as I can. There's actually a community on part called Blind Runners. Big, big props to them. They're amazing if you like speedrunning. But if, if I had to say who was kind of like my inspiration to get into content creation on streaming and stuff, I, I'd probably say it's Sid3300. Really? Who is? Yeah, 
I used to watch his speed runs before I started speed running Simpsons Hit and Run. Um, I used to be really into that. I got an hour and fifty minutes, I think, in that game, or an hour forty. Yeah, I can't remember. But I used to watch him uh, Nelly every day on his streams before I officially started Twitch streaming, which is insane. He didn't know who I was until about a year later. Now he's one of my moderators. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's crazy because my story with speedrunning is kind of it, it is very small like I, I basically started on Secure Breach and like that's a game I know well I, I'm pretty sure I did really crap and I think I just gave up no no wait no two of my runs got like rejected because they lagged and I was just like yeah no my incense are good enough for this so yeah sorry <laughs> that, it's, that, it's all cool it's all cool it's, uh, I, gotta, I just gotta like be shit on my internet I guess I don't know we have to treat everyone the same like, yeah no 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 cool. when I went into speedrunning I, I always kept that in mind I always kept in mind that the same rules applied to me even though I know knew like one of the boss did like because I knew you didn't like change like the rules on me you know I, I want to ask I want to ask you a question oh okay yeah go on yeah. go on so obviously you are growing rapidly as of recent yep yep because of Five Nights at Freddy's yeah really big franchise film coming out in about a, a, exactly one month yeah exactly yeah, yeah. Jesus <laughs> I want to know if you're going to continue making specifically FNAF related content or if you're going to branch out and do other like games Ooh. or this this you know? is a good question so uh, uh when it comes to fnaf i've already i feel like i've already dried out security breach and ruin like i i i, I can't play ruin off security breach. i just can't do that I, I guess i still got some content with fnaf one i might get fnaf two but when it comes to fnaf mm -hmm. I, I don't know it, I, if it definitely feels like it's running dry you know like yeah. i mean i probably got right. a few more months of content maybe a couple more twitch streams a couple more videos just talk about the game but at some point i definitely feel like i gotta branch out a bit i'm already starting to do that a little bit i've tried to look into some other games some other types of content because as as much as fnaf has helped me grow at some point fnaf isn't just gonna like be there you know i gotta be able to jump ship you know yeah like you you don't want people to come for the game you want people to come for you exactly for that that's exactly the mentality i had with streaming like i would just do security breach challenges because like mm -hmm. people read that and they're like oh my god like security breach no upgrade or whatever the hell i did and then i would keep that in with my stories and whatnot you know that was always my kind of strategy and then i'll bring him in in the discord and then in the discord that there will be a high chance of staying you know oh yeah absolutely so I, I definitely found it hard when secure breach came out i used to be getting loads of people coming in but then they inevitably left because i wasn't playing the game every day yeah it happens that's why variety streaming is so tricky so that's why i was gonna yeah say, like, that, that's what i've noticed like sometimes the secure breach i i get loads of views on twitch and then like it feels like if i play something else i get like three views or something you know yeah no gotta love twitch in the end. but like i've got a recommendation for you for a horror I, game i go on go on eggs for bart it's like a meme from game grumps and they made a horror game yeah i'll, I'll look into it definitely yeah, it's, uh, nice. it's, it's like it's kind of like slender like the eight pages but with mm -hmm. bart simpson <laughs> ah yeah I, I was actually i was thinking of playing gods of bam bam but i tried on my pc and like it, it like it, the oh. quality was really bad like I, I could barely run it that game literally breaks my pc as well and i've got a pretty good pc yeah it's, it, it's, it's so dumb like i can barely learn it and i got like a laptop it's weird let's let, let's uh I, I got a really good question now last but not least this is probably the best question i, I think you're, you can probably guess what it is how did you meet astral spiff uh, i mean astral spiff oh uh, uh, <laughs> so he was on the team when i was on there he was a verifier at the time and so, i believe for um, speed running, right for, for speed run yeah all right and we'd occasionally talk in the verifying chat but um i think because of lack of activity the owner at the time time put him down to honorable status so it means he won't be able to verify oh yeah i saw, um, I saw he has honorable i thought that just meant like a rank to show cool people <laughs> he's cool he's very cool yeah, that's that, very wrong yeah when i was added as a moderator the owner at the time breezy he um did a whole revamp fixed the server up and everything and took some people off the team who wasn't doing stuff and depending on their, what they did to help with the community he gave them honorable that's why spiff has honorable because he was there when it was created oh, Oh, so it's like, a, like an OG rank, kind of. Like an OG rank, yeah. Ah, okay, you know. okay. Since you said you were like the admin, I thought you just gave him honorable. That like I always thought that. I've, I mean, I've decided to keep him as honorable. I've decided to keep all the people that helped with the server as honorable because I can remove it, but I'm not gonna. Yeah. CBA, you know what I mean? Yep. When we started talking a little bit more, I think it was when he asked us if he was able to make a um, rejected videos video. Oh, I remember this. You, you remember me DMing you about this, maybe? Yeah, I do. For a long time, Time, the owner wasn't happy with it and rejected the idea and then when I was made like co-owner at the time I was like you know what this will be great it's been a year since the game's released I'm gonna get in touch with Spiff 
and asked if he still wants to make it. So I messaged him, started talking about it. I gave him the roles and everything so he could see all the rejected runs for category extensions as well as the base game. He's not doing one for Ruin, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. But uh, then one thing led to another, the video came out. People actually started messaging me saying like, yo, you guys missed the video that let him make the video. I was like, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I just gave him yeah. permission to look through the rejected run vault. And then, uh, you know, I read him a couple of times. He's read me a couple of times. You know, occasional talk. Nah, he's cool, he's cool. He's really sick. Definitely, that, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I, I remember I watched over the video the first time and I saw the Louis Coop, like he said, I was like, mm, pretty cool. And like the second time I watched it, I was like, what? That, that, that was, that was well. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> awesome. So you're basically the birth to like a Smith video. That's, that's, that's an accomplishment, I reckon. Yeah, I mean, I was the only one who was up for it as well. The rest of the team wasn't. So I was yeah. like, yeah, go on, I'll let him do it. The only good one <laughs> in the team, I guess. The, the Louis nah, Coop. everyone's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, Grim, definitely, Ace, definitely. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> Shout out to everyone in the speedrun community. You guys, you guys, are crazy. Any questions for me? If not, that's looking like the end. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Are you the final boss? Are you the final Romanian boss, bro? Oh, the Romanian final oh, boss, the, the big studded guy. Yeah. Uh, uh, is you know, that you? You know, I'm, I, I might have revealed myself kind of with the mask and all, all this stuff, but you know, let, 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 let's just, oh, you know, ignore it. That let's just assume that I was photoshop. I'm actually the Romanian boss. I've just photoshop my arms and I have tattoos and be like super unmuscular, you know, that's what happened. In a metaphoric sense, I think that's the word, I I'd say I'm the Romanian final boss, 100%. You're a fucking unit. Exactly, <laughs> man. Oh, dude, this has been, this has been great. You know, super chill. Definitely. Over, Any more questions? Or? I don't think so. Alright, yeah, I got, I've got, I've done all mine. It's been a great, great interview, man. Thank you for coming on, bro. It's been really good insight into the speedrunning and into Skew Breach and into just everything related to that, man. Oh, yeah, no worries, dude. Enjoy the rest of your morning, man. I got, like, school soon. So, no worries, I'm gonna yeah. get that. Right, see ya, bro. <laughs> thank you to all the amazing people who have taken part in this event, and thank you to everyone who made an announcement about my event in their communities. I am so happy to see all of the progress and support I have had over the year, and I cannot wait to see what will come next in my journey. Take care, everyone, and I will see you all in my next video.